Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. If you've watched the previous videos, we've kind of been hyping this one up and for good reason. It's a tournament weekend. We've got the Yakabass KBF two-day event, Saturday and Sunday. So three tournaments actually in total. It is Friday right now. Yeah, the big hype for me is this tournament this weekend is probably the biggest tournament of the year for me personally for the Yakabass series. And the reason being is currently after our first four regular season events for AO why we're sitting in first place now it was never my intention or goal to shoot for aoy for yakabass series it's one of the biggest kayak tournament trails in the country pulling over 100 anglers usually for most tournaments and there's some pretty damn good ones in there too but after four tournaments like i said we're sitting in first you can take a look at the top 10 some uh, notable names in there so for yakabass we have seven regular season events and then the toc for aoy points and standings at the end of it all you can actually drop your worst finish and right now after four events I haven't really had a bad finish got a second a third a fourth and an 11th and I don't want to make this over dramatic or anything but I think this Delta tournament this two-day Delta tournament for Yakabass stop number five will be kind of the make or break point for me as far as AOY if we can have another solid finish top 10 ideally top five I think we can control our own destiny with the last three remaining events of the year but like I said it is Friday all the fellas are in town I think they all went pre-fishing today I did not I've already been pre-fishing this week it is 3 30 i'm a little late but we're actually going to be doing a podcast with nick from cast and crank at uh, the caesar chavez swim bait shop toxic baits i think you guys know the toxic baits aka spongebob square bill that makes an appearance every so often we're doing that podcast i think after that we're going to go to toxic days event over at russo's and then the tournament itself tomorrow on saturday or day one at least so if you guys are interested in just getting right to the fishing i'll leave a timestamp right here but that's the video i guess this is going to be another other vlog style video I'm not sure what will happen pretty much showing you my experience leading up to the tournament the tournament itself and everything in between I'm excited though the Delta has been pretty stingy it should be a fun weekend either way so hope you guys enjoy this one Speaking of AOY, hey, there he is. What's I'm up, here. man? Not much. I was just uh, telling the folks the uh, AOY situation. Man, it's a close one, huh? One point between us. Uh, how's prefish going for you? It's it's good. I caught one giant, but everything else is about 13 to 14 inches. It's kind of how it's been going for me too. But I'm actually kind of okay with that. I'm okay with catching keepers. Yeah, me too. Honest, I think a lot of guys are gonna struggle to get a limit on this one, dude. Myself included. I think like it's gonna be tough. I had one day with uh, like a dozen keepers and two fives, and then the next time out I skunked. So Damn, it's tricky. It's gonna it's, be tricky. It's a very different delta than what we're used to. Yeah. All right. Best sticker ever, by the way. Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> Told you that a million it's, times. Uh, it's not representative of anything. <laughs> but, yeah. Dude, where is everyone? I thought I was late. Uh, yeah, me too. I don't know. I'm like 30 minutes late. All these inside. He's, he's been here for a while. Well, he's probably shopping. Mike's passed out on the ramp somewhere. <laughs> yeah, he said he was struggling. He said he was drinking by like 8 o'clock. I wonder if he started pre-building his staff. Oh. There he is, man of the hour. You like us, how we're all like 30 minutes late? That's fine. I was drinking before you got here. How's, How's it going? My name's Nick. Bam. Nice, nice to meet you. Hey. This is the last of Dark Horse. Who are we waiting for, Mike? Mike's here. Oh, Mike's, oh, Mike's here? here? Yeah, at? he's in oh. China already. Oh. And then there's three out of my Uh, Dutch, Terrence, and nobody. I mean, I don't know how many headsets we'll he has, so. We're just split mics, so it doesn't matter. Right. Someone has something funny to say, they can just Oh, no, Orange County. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dude, don't talk to this piece of shit. I'm not gonna cuss because I know you can't cuss on YouTube. I want your autograph. I'm gonna walk through cactuses for him. What's going on? How are you? How you doing? Good. Man. Bam. I don't think I've officially nah, met you. but I know. I've been yeah, yeah. homies with Kent. I can. I remember seeing Guru Rods all the time. I'm like, is that the same Bam? He's like, hey, kayak fishing. I'm like, oh, okay. I feel like I knew. No, you through proxy base. Yeah. yeah. I showed him that picture though, and he's like, oh my god. Spare <laughs> bait. That's a giant fish. I know. I wasn't gonna tell anyone, but now it's it's out of bed, so whatever. Well, not everybody has that spinner bait. Wow, that that profile is a lot. This is official. Eight oh, pound dude, everybody's here. We're here. Like five pound smallies. Hey guys. Hey, what are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. How are you? What's Santa. Up, dude? Bam. How you doing? Dude, dude, you here. Here. What's up, man? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Dude, this shop is so sick. Pretty forty yeah, minutes, buddy. What's up, Good man? to see you, man. Me too. Pretty much. <laughs> 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 Did you to see that duct tape? Oh, is that you? you oh. Woo. And we were at the campsite, and I called the Uber. Yeah, you're on TV.
there, nobody? Is it actually cat? Oh, it's because it's cold out. That's why. Yeah. It's just cold. <laughs> Nobody wants to sit outside. <laughs> so as Dutch would say, while well, we wait, we can hydrate. Ah, I like that. Cheers. We're on this. Cheers. Good, Good luck to you, sir. Too. That's so sick. My guys is right here battling it out. The horse it's like a whole school horse race. This should, this should be the thumbnail. This should be the thumbnail. Yeah. Yeah. Right there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Yeah, I'm but the time before last, when I went out there, I had two fives, so I was like, oh, sh yeah. But no. <laughs> I'm here, baby! <laughs> My brother. I love you, buddy. I love you so <laughs> much, Aldi. Oh, the... It's gonna be a wacky one. Oh, you get a fish sandwich? <laughs> you are, you gotta... It's bad of a bite, but. No. <laughs> I don't know. I answered you, dude. I've heard you decide the knife. Or the Olympia. The Olympia. No, you said chatter and a Ned, right? No. And the law punches and drop shot. He wouldn't let the punching go. I'm losing three options. The Delta mid summer was posed. The Comanche, everybody come to the award. Medical thing? Exactly. Are we good for it? We'll be launching energy tomorrow. Yeah, who <laughs> we went to the campsite. Mike did? The Irish goodbye. This is where the wind shut off the middle line. All the fish that got shallow were not keepers. I didn't hear anyone else's report. Nobody else talked. Cranking. What? Cranking? Sucks. Sucks. It's a language. Oh, sorry. Cast and crank podcast. This isn't cast and crank, man. Right? Uh, um, 3 a.m. wake up call for me. 3 a.m. on a 345 wake up call. How far is BMW, man? It's like 25 minutes. Ugh, what, yeah. What? All right, good night, guys. Okay. Good, good luck. Good night, bud. Good night. Good night, yeah. Here, oh. here you can do it again, Terrence. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty folks, good morning. It is just about 4.30 a.m. Made the 50 minute drive from the campsite over here. We're at Tiki Lagoon. This is where we'll be fishing the tournament out of. Again, this is an open launch. I think there's about 15 to 16 approved launches all throughout the California Delta. And this is the one we landed on based on pre-fish. Had some bites here, not big ones, just one big one and a lot of small fish to go with it. But hopefully today the right ones show up. As far as times go, we can launch our boats at 5 a.m. First cast is 5.30 a.m. Last cast is 1.30 a.m. And you have to be off the water checked out of the apps by 2 30 p.m so full eight hours of fishing out there this is a two-day event for yakabass and as i will sound like a broken record for two-day tournaments as we always say you cannot win it on day one especially for kayak tournaments but you can definitely lose it and losing it would essentially be coming in without a limit so we need five keepers today right now i would be pretty stoked with about 80 inches anything else would be bonus in my opinion got a game plan got the baits that i have confidence in probably going to be throwing a lot of reaction in the morning spinner bait maybe some top water as the sun gets high as it warms up we'll probably go punching these techniques on any given day can catch a delta giant as we've seen we've got about 30 more minutes i'm gonna probably retie some baits here do some last minute prep and then we'll get this thing started stay tuned
took us about 36 minutes with that in mind for later when we need to make sure we get back in time, but we could start fishing about six minutes ago. First cast at the spot. I wanted to start, nobody else here. Tide is low, it's gonna be incoming. Let's just go fishing and see what happens. Spinner bait. Oof. I don't think there's a keeper. Got a bite though. Still biting the spinner bait. That's good. see the bait in the distance. That's what they're eating right there. Whatever those little bait fish are, you can see them. I think those are what's giving these, that's what's spawning here. Tiny, tiny bait. This is a spawning fish producing that little bait. And these bass have been just munching on it. Good catch right there. That'll keep. That'll keep. That'd be another 12 incher, I think. We'll take them all. Finally on the board. right bait it's a huge confidence you know you have the right bait when they're they're biting it like this and you're getting this many bites keep going keep going Oh, 
Oh no! I tried to juggle him. <laughs> oh! Aye. That was a little keeper. I don't care how small they are, as long as they're 12 inches. First five, at least for me, is always a huge weight off the shoulders. That was a silly mistake right there. Nibbling at it. <laughs> Definitely still biting the spinner bait though. This is what we're fishing this morning. This one stretch. It's a couple hundred yards long on the inside of this island here. This is where a lot of those, I don't know if they're like shad or something like that, but that's where they're spawning and that's where there's some feeding fish. So I think right now, 6 30 a.m., the amount of bites we've had, the tide is still incoming, I think for the next few hours, which I think will help this bite. It makes see how low the water is right now. The plan is to stick this out, just go up and down it for probably eh, until maybe 8 30 or so. Try to get our limit, maybe get lucky and get a big one. And then depending on things, we'll maybe move on and start punching, trying to get that big bite. Good news is they're still here. Bad news is same story. Lots of small fish. He's gonna go. I don't think. Be real close. Here we go. Oh man. I think he'll go if I can get him to behave and flex his tail the correct way. Yeah, we'll get him to go. Barely touches 12. Oh, a popper. a lot more surface activity today than I have in all of our practice days. They're not shy to come up on top. Oh, another small one though. All right, maybe we gotta go to the popper now. Funny, the little ones always seem to crush the popper where the big ones just slurp it. If we get a slurpage bite, that'll be a good sign. Keep it, I think. Oh my god. How'd he come off? I wasn't dogging him that hard. Aye. All right, I cannot make any more mistakes. I feel like I've already met my quota for the amount of mistakes I can make in this tournament. Oh my God. I think you're, you might be a keeper. Oh no, he's not a keeper. He's just fat, right? You're not a keeper, no. Hi. Ooh, popper's getting bit. those little ones. He got 
on it. <sighs> nope, I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh my god, it's gonna go 12. That's number four. <sighs> Relax, buddy. Number four, okay. Seems like maybe I'm getting bigger bites on the spinner bait. Could just be random too. I can imagine if we had a little bit of wind how epic this bite could be. I think the wind is supposed to pick up today. Big, but I think that was number five. Whatever. If I lose the small ones, okay. Just don't lose any big ones today. That'll hurt the heart. Maybe not. Easy does. Oh man, that's not a keeper. Shoot. No. It's gonna be like eleven. Getting bites on the popper. Definitely more bites on the popper than the spinner bait. The problem is, I felt like I was getting bigger bites on the spinner bait. What? Dude, I'm telling you, these fish are shrinking as they're coming back to the boat. Probably 12. But I thought for sure that was like a 15 incher. Never mind. That is not 12 inches. much as I want to keep throwing the, the top water, I think the bigger fish are eating the spinner bait. It's so tempting to keep throwing the popper when you're getting bit like almost every cast. But if they're not the right size, it doesn't matter. All right, there's our limit. 7.30. One of the smallest limits you can have, 12 inch minimum. I think the smallest limit would be, what, 60 inches? We're not much ahead of 60 inches. <laughs> we gotta get rid of about every one of those fish today. The good news is the day is still young. Two hours going by, you got six more. That water, once it starts moving, I think will help this bite. Limit feels good though, happy to have that limit. That's a big one. There we go. That's one of the ones we needed right there. Thank you for not coming off. I appreciate that. Yeah, spinnerbait is getting the better ones. Thank you, sir. That's what we needed right there. There's a quality one. Can't be too, can't be too careful. Sixteen and a half. That's one of the right ones. Thank you, sir. I think a 
nice thing about this bank too is it's an area where these fish can reload. I think, you know, out there they're chasing some of that stuff. And there's deeper grass out there that I'm sure there's fish in and just can't really target them. Some of those fish will just slide up in here and feed and probably go back. Oh, there's one following the spinner bear right there. Little one. Almost 8.30, let's make a move. Probably come back to this spot, but I kind of want to go check my other areas right now. Well, the area did its job. We got our limit, a small one, and one call. That's the first step. Just kind of lost confidence in that area. I feel like I have a better chance of catching a better quality fish if we go do some punching, or maybe just trying some different places. Skinny's okay. Hmm. All right, a little bit of coal. I think it's the same spot. Oh, a 12 and a cool 12 and a half. so hard. Let it sit for two more seconds. One more second. Man, what's funny is these conditions, like, are not spinnerbait conditions typically that these fish are just like so bait focused I think they have to eat it when that goes by them
Let's go. Stay up. Go oh, get on the drive. Oh, get on the drive. You got on the drive. There we go. A little call. Take it. I don't even know what we got to get rid of. That's one thing I need to be better at is actually keeping track of what I have. At least making better mental notes. I know that will call though. But after this, I got to take a look at what we need to call. So we need to get rid of a 14 and a quarter. All right, so we got two 14 and a quarters. We got to get rid of. Frogfish, heck yeah. Heck yeah. I was kind of wondering about the frog. Had some popper bites early. I really didn't think I'd throw the frog a lot, but because we got bit on the popper, I knew these fish weren't too shy. Just gotta improvise. To call. Get rid of a 14 and a quarter. Making making headway. That's a good one actually. It's a nice one. That's why you have the rogue phone tether, fellas. Best investment you can ever make. Phone tether. <laughs> Might have to keep going with this frog now. At least a little bit. And it's opportune. Catching all these fish by these little openings in the island. On the inside, it seems, most of them. I think some of them are just setting up in the grass. And obviously spinnerbait's been working. But I think if we can present our bait right, we might be able to trick one on the frog. Obviously we tricked one, but there could be more. That one right there. It's just sitting in that grass patch. There's that opening right there. cooled off a little bit. They also spray a few of these areas. It certainly doesn't help things as far as the bite goes. I mean I get the spraying but it usually kills the bite or the punch bite at least. go so fast. I have no clue how this time goes so fast. Still looking for that kicker. You know, a 20 inch fish. I know that's wishful thinking, but the importance of a 20 inch fish right now would be a difference of almost six inches in my first day score. You know, that could be a huge factor. So I don't think it's 100% necessary to catch that kicker, but it's certainly going to help if we're going to have any chance at tomorrow. We don't want to have to put ourselves in a, in a position where we have to go catch 100 inches tomorrow. If we can get up to 80 or so, that would be a much better position.
Oh, there's a... There we go. Sweet. Not a giant, but that's going to get rid of our 14. Thank you, sir. Alright, back to the spinner bait game. Alright, buddy. What do you know? Right by another current break. And no chances with this one. Seems a little hot, too. It's gotta be a 15 and a half. Maybe 16. What are we looking at? Oof. 15. Alrighty. There's a call. I think everything we've got now is over 15 inches, so that's good. We mark all this stuff for tomorrow, too. Pretty good much we're going to be doing the same thing, I think. my bait too broke my bait not a kicker kicker but that is a beautiful call beautiful call wow got my money's worth out of that spinner bait i know that <laughs> thank you sir 104 we gotta get rid of a 15 incher i think that'll be maybe 17 Ooh. maybe a little better All right, 129, got one minute left. I'm gonna just get going because we got a pretty good ways back. Make sure we get off the water plenty of time by 2.30. You know, not a bad day, not a great day. I feel like we survived this day. I do feel like the bite in general on the Delta today picked up. There's a lot of fish this morning, obviously, and then a lot of top water fish on poppers. So that just tells me they're a lot more active today. Who knows exactly how everyone else did, what the standings will be. I think there's 104 anglers signed up for this tournament. Let's make our way back, head back to the campsite, and we'll check in with you in a bit. Delta in the books. It's like you guys playing toesies. What did we think? Delta's rough. Is it living up to what everyone's saying? Yes. It's tough this year? It's a million rats, hardly any keepers. All do you want to start your day? Uh, got a lot of fish tonight. Didn't catch a lot of keepers. Oh man, 20th place. 20th out of 106. Top 20! Top Woo! 20, baby. You're here. Caught one fish on a frog in the morning and then punch in the rest of the day. Santa? Uh, I've, I've always struggled on the Delta and today was no different. A lot of tiny fish, mainly caught them on a rack, wacky rig. Racky rig? Racky rig. Racky rig? Uh, Racky rig. Racky rig. Racky rig. Racky rig. Racky rig. Just throwing spinner bait, chatter bait, threw a frog, nothing. That's crazy because yeah. I, I was like, you know, like when you know a bait's on because you're catching like all size fish, they definitely were on it. This is true, but the last hour, I. The last hour! Yeah. Fifteen no, minutes no, ago, no, no, no. last and hour I threw out a straw wrapper. <laughs> no, last hour I just kept grinding that spinner bait. The wind picked up, and I think that helped the bite. And I called up three times. Dang. So wow. it worked out mid place, and then right above me, gotcha. uh, coach in fourth place, coach. third loser. Before we get going on this, we want to know what release area you fish. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> At least he's honest. In all seriousness, Dutch, fourth place out of 106, 81.5. You're damn you're, good. You're in contention to win this thing. Yes. But I could. I could. Got to back it up tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Do you think you can do it? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm not cutting that out. That's that's for the people to know. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I can get 80 again, but I I can 
70 We mentioned this in the beginning of the video, AOI, you're kind of like a dark horse. You're kind of creeping right behind me. I'm sniffing around, waiting for you and Bam to mess up. Well, speaking of Bam, Bam went home, he's, he's got some stuff to do, but I gotta mention Bam, because he was in second place AOI going into this event. Bam, third place, 82 inches. Big Fish, day one, 22.75. That's worth a cool 1,900 bucks, I think, right? Jeez. Let's do it wow. My wife would be stoked if I did that. <laughs> uh, Mike, your day. Um, rugged, to say the least. What is it called? You got a limit. We're sitting in 17 after a really bad prefit. You didn't even catch a fish. I didn't catch a fish yesterday. It measured. Oh, so then that means tomorrow will be good for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just the day behind. All the keepers I kept were on a spinnerbait. Caught a couple on a wacky rig, but the cold mountain was spinnerbait. To be in the top 10, it took 79 inches, and then first place is 86 inches. I know we all guessed last night. You said, I think I said two did? days of 80 yeah. is what I thought. When did we do this? I think Alden said if I catch 170 inches tomorrow, you got a chance. Pretty tight. It's like five 25 pounders. That's not a big deal. Do we have uh, final predictions now that we know the first day standings? I'm gonna still say it's gonna be 160. I've Terrence? punched a frog before. Uh, I think 165. Okay. I, th I still think 165. Dutch, what do you think? I'm gonna say 170. Somebody's going to, I think. Somebody in the top, somebody in the top five, I think. Hit 90. Include day one to the portal we go. Yeah, yeah. portal. All right, portal. What about your shower? All right, guys, day one over. See you in the next one for day two. Let's go.